Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a video where every time we get a shutout, our goaltender will be nerfed. So to summarize what's going on here, I'm going to do a fantasy draft and obviously I think I want to take a goalie first or second, depending on where our draft pick is. Because when we get a shutout, I have to trade for a goalie that is three overall worse, at least. On top of that, it's going to be the no-brainer response because I'm not allowed to bring any players back. It's just our goalie simply getting nerfed. I'm already here, so I'm just going to randomly the team from here not gonna go to play now and I will be stopping right now we get Colorado we want fantasy draft on we don't want jabroni editing our lines CPUs can trade if they want and salary cap will remain on this is gonna be oh we got pick 26 that's lame yeah I'm definitely gonna take a goalie in the first round then but this is the first time I've done a draft where I haven't really had any restrictions I'm kind of surprised by that but Vazzy is still here so absolutely that's gonna be our goaltender our first forward is gonna be JT Miller he's at the top here 90 overall he's got two abilities making 5.2 can't go wrong well I shouldn't say that you you can go wrong but let's just hope that it does not go wrong I'm gonna take Patrice to be the first line centerman I just really like that contract so I'm taking hints as another centerman Matt Dumba is gonna be our first defender and he can play with Hampus Lindholm 2.6 really let's try to stack up defensively in case our goaltender does end up needing extra support so I'm gonna take Ryan Ellis and then I'll take Ekholm he's got three abilities and he's 85 overall on a very decent contract as well I do need a right winger so let's go with Joe Pavelski yeah I think I'm just gonna stack up on defense big time Athena see you we do already have two left wingers but he's a left wing slash right wing he does shoot left however let's yeah you know what let's go for it 24 million dollars left oh she has a bunch of abilities and he is timothy jimothy so i don't really have a choice in the matter connor sheary that is a contract for the ages yes please jeff carter not too shabby let's go ahead and grab another centerman right there but yeah i don't know if they're even gonna play center who honestly knows they could play anywhere i try my best to keep them to the position but if it can't be done it can't be done i will play them elsewhere and a lot of them actually have a second position anyway Anyway, ben Sherratt, do we need a left-handed defenseman? That's the question because I typically draft too many right-handed defensemen. I'm pretty sure we have three right-handed defensemen at the moment, but let's see. One, uh, okay, hold on. What just happened there? I just skipped over Lindholm. So we got one, two, and no. Okay, we need. We actually do need a right-handed defenseman. Yan Ruta, 82 overall. Let's do it. At this point, we just need our fourth line and a backup goaltender. So who will our backup goalie be? I kind of want it to be Smith at 83 overall. He's got two abilities, 2.2. That would leave us with about 10 mil for the fourth line. Yeah, that'll work. Paul Stasny, 85 face-offs. What a legend. Let's do it. If I take Smith, that gives us about 3 million for our final player. And I think that should be perfect. So let's go ahead, make that selection. And we only got one remaining. It fits within the cap. And just because of that face, I think we have to do it. Tanev will be our final selection. We got a very good team here. Now I'm kind of worried. I feel like we're going to get too many shutouts, but you never know. Maybe we'll get none. That's the thing with these kind of videos. You don't know what's going to happen. We could honestly get zero shutouts the entire season and stay the exact same, or we could get a shutout pretty much every other game until we have a 70 overall goalie. You don't know what you're in for. Obviously, preseason does not count. These are the preferred lines. What the... EA? I don't think so. Also, who's this auto character and how did he get in here? There we go. That's more like it. Our first line consists of Captain America, Patrice, and JT. And then we have Andreas playing with Rupe and Timothy Jimothy. Our bottom six is very solid. I'm curious to see what our defensemen look like line chemistry wise. Oh no, I could do that but I'm simply not going to. We have roll all pairings, so I kind of want to try and keep, yeah. All right, well, it is what it is. Just gonna have a dash two on the second pair, but we got a plus five on pair one, baby. And in net, we have Andre Vasilevsky at 90 overall. So basically, if he gets a shutout, we have to go down to an 87, 84. And then I guess Mike Smith will have to trade him as well because we can't have him as our new starting goalie. That's kind of cheating. Unless I elect to get rid of our 84 overall goalie, if it gets to that point, and then just have Mike Smith be the starter and not, hold on. 
That made no sense. What I meant to say was instead of getting an 84 overall goalie from the 87, I could just drop straight down to 83 for Mike Smith because I have to drop at least three, but I could do more if I really wanted to. On that note, let's get started here. I don't think I will have back-to-back -back shutouts, so I'm pretty sure I could just simulate and have time to stop if we do get a shutout. All right, we are off to a freezing cold start. We've dished out a goose egg to the Dallas Stars, so it is time to nerf our goaltender. Look at Miller go. 27 points in 18 games. All I really have to do is find a 87 overall goaltender. There we go. Sorokin. Ooh, or I could go with you see what I see. Saros. I feel like he sims better. And I think that Sorokin doesn't have abilities as well. Saros it is. Let's go ahead and propose that trade. Yeah, I get it. It's a no-brainer. You're so funny. There you have it. Goalie nerf number one. So if Saros gets a shutout, then we could either go forward. Oh, we got a shutout. So now do I drop to an 84 overall, or do I go with Mike Smith is the question. And I think I'm going to go with an 84. So we have the 84-83 duo. Just in case we don't get another shutout, then we have that decent duo going the entire year. Robin Leonard, a 918 save percentage, 84 overall. He's got three abilities. All right, sure, let's do it. That should go through one for one. Yeah, I know, I know. So if we get another shutout, we're going to be down to 81 overall, which would mean that both Smith and Leonard have to go. Back-to-back -back games where we only let in one goal. We actually have a lot of games where we only let in one. It's kind of scary. Actually, no, it's very scary. Oh, that was close. No, we got one against the Islanders, and I feel like we've been getting shut out a lot. We got shut out against the Jets and the Arizona Coyotes, but we are now down to an 81 overall goalie. Is there even the possibility for an 81 overall goalie to have abilities? I feel like there is not, but I don't even really know how much they affect simulation. I might be putting too much value into these abilities. I think I'm going to go with Dan here. He's only 24. Hopefully he can maybe grow in overall a little bit. I doubt it, but it's possible. Well, if you feel guilty, Guilty saying yes, then how about you don't do it? Isn't that a crazy concept? Oh wait, gotta get rid of Smith as well. Peter Mrazek has a decent save percentage, but I guess that's in the AHL. And then Treacher's got an 896. Oh boy, that is in the AHL, right? Yeah. I'm hoping that we can get to the trade deadline with these 81 overall goalies, because at that point, obviously we can't trade anymore. And wow, that is a great save percentage for an 81 overall. Let's go, Cal. Oh, it's such a no-brainer. All right, our defense, yep. 5-2-2, two, two, but negative 2 in the middle there. Unfortunately, our offense, we got the plus 2 on the first line. And in net now, we have Dan and Cal. We have 7 games until the trade deadline. Please don't get a shutout. I don't want 78 overall goalies going into the playoffs. Calgary will be our first opponent, and they dummy us. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. We needed that big time. And we are not doing too well here, if I'm going to be honest. San Jose is the last chance. And there you have it. We have 281 overall goalies going into the latter half of the season. I don't know how this is going to go. Enter the trade deadline just for the fun of it to see who's available. We got Pi Trangelo. We got Bobrovsky, McDonough, Nyquist, Ranta. Just clearing up. Yes, it is Petrangelo, I know. Yeah, pretty decent trade deadline. I might go after some of these players if it was any other situation, especially Petrangelo, but it's not. So, I'm out of here. Winnipeg ended up getting him and a fifth for two first and Emond. Emond? Jake Gardner on waivers. What overall is he? 80. Ooh. Should I do it? Hmm. Nah, there's no point. I don't even know if we're going to be able to make the playoffs now. There's a shutout against the Oilers. Obviously, can't make any more trades, but yeah, that would have been a 78 overall goalie. That would have been heartbreaking, to say the least. Another shutout there against the Jets. Come on, win. Let's go. Imagine I had player morale on. My team would be fuming. Oh, we finished third in the division with 98 points. And Minnesota made it with 91. So we definitely had it made out for us. Like, we were in the playoffs for a while already. Well, I don't know about a while. I guess those last two wins really helped us out, you know, sort of pulling ahead, but still. We finished seventh in the league. Fire me, vertical boys. President's Trophy will be going to the Arizona Coyotes who had McDavid. Okay, so they had the first overall pick. Saros and Nett, I'm sure that helped them out. Mason McTavish on the third line there. The Edmonton Oilers are the only team in the top 16 not to make it. The Philadelphia Flyers got in at number 17, which isn't too bad. This man is an absolute menu. He put up 96 points and he had 67 helpers. Bergeron got 42 
42 goals and 42 assists for 84 points. Pavelski just shy of point a game. Rupe Hintz had 64 points. We got 57 from Oshi, 46 from Athanasiu, dash 7 from Smith, and a dash 2 from Stasny. Oh no, a dash 8 from Carter. What's going on? Daniel did not do so hot. Um, he, I guess he needs some more white vans. I mean, Cal didn't do that great either, so clearly we're being carried by the offense. Nate Mack had 64 goals and 116 points. That is straight up outrageous. Barkov was the only other player to break the 100 mark. He got 101. Matthews had 97 and 51 goals. It does not even come close to Nate's 64 though. JT Miller finished third in the league. Things you love to see, that. Jari led the league with 41 Ws. He had a 919 save percentage. We got a 921 from Flower. Hellebuck down here has a 920. Hedman led defenseman with 77. Klingberg was right behind him with 76. Then we got Yossi 73. Petrangelo with 72. It's about that time again. We got the round one St. Louis Blues here and we come out with a 2-1 lead after three. But will they make it a best of three is the question. They sure will. Game five will go to St. Louis in overtime. It's time to simulate the game here. Come on, Colorado. Not a first round exit. Let's go it in at least round two. First period. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Second. Yes, let's go. I'm just gonna, I'm, I trust it. I trust it. Seven, three. There's your three stars of the game. What a performance from Stasny. What on earth happened there? Same with hints. Game seven is upon us. Will we advance to round two or will we see the classic first round exit? That's not a good start. Second period. Okay. Pavelski got us back in here. We might need some more of Stasny and some more of Rupe hints at this point. We are five minutes into this third period. We have a power play and cannot capitalize. Shots are fairly even. Still 2-1. Colorado, we need something here. Let's go. What are we doing? We're catching up in shots, but we are not catching up on the scoreboard. It will be a 2-1 victory for St. Louis and a first round exit for Colorado. Connor Hellebuck played insane. Hats off to him. Imagine if we still have Vasilevsky though. The Seattle Kraken take home their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Three point a game players, Oshi, Hintz, and Bergeron. And two of them were a dash one still. Pavelski was a plus four, but he had six points. Points. Can't even really blame Dan here. He did well. He had a 915, 251, and a record of 3 3 and 1, obviously. So, yeah, he played his role. He did fine. Carey Price was stellar, had a 927, 225, a record of 15 1 and 3 with two shutouts. They lost four games, all playoffs. John Carlson led defenseman. He had 14 points. We got 12 apiece from Chicharin and Klingberg, and then Zub, Miller, and Carlson all got 11. Kucherov had 28 points in 24 games. We got 26 in 20 from Sydney the Kidney. Patches, Fiala, and Gensel all got 22, except Fiala did it in the least amount of games with 18. We can just quickly go through Seattle's roster here and you can see that they are in fact very sick, so checks out that they did so well. DeSmith was the backup as well. They were just stacked. Okay, yep. Congrats, Seattle. You earned that one. As always, let's go through the trophies real quick here. I'm not even going to read them out. I'm just going to fly. Okay, I am going to read that one. Tomasino. I always like seeing players that don't normally win the Calder win the Calder. So I'm here for that. Crosby winning trophies. I'm also here for that. And there you have it. Nate Mack did quite well this season, as we saw earlier on. Here is the playoff tree. Seattle lost, let's see here. They lost two games in the first round. And then after that, it was just light work. The other most recent expansion team gave them their biggest challenge, even though it was a fantasy draft, but you know what I mean. Okay, well, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you. Hopefully you enjoyed that one and I'll be seeing you soon.